Hey, so today I'm going to show you how to combine Keynote for simple motion graphics with transparent background. And I uh, use that to with uh, A10 Mini Pro downstream key. So we need the transparent background so that the downstream keyer will work, so that the upstream key is still free for doing chroma key or um, other effects. So this is about using Keynote with your, with your iPad and A10 Mini Pro. So I've got Keynote here. I'm going to open a new presentation. And I'm just selecting a basic white presentation. And we get an empty presentation. So a key part of this is getting the background to be transparent, both on the slides and then uh, for, in the slideshow. And then also, uh, we can export that as a movie and still keep that transparent background in the movie. So there's two places we need to change that. The first is on this background here. Change the color from color fill to no fill. Now you see the background changed to black. This is confusing. Um, and thank you, Photo Joseph, for, for explaining this on one of, on one of his videos. Um, for whatever reason, Keynote, instead of showing the regular gray and uh, gray checkered background that you might expect to see when something is transparent, this is just showing black, uh, which is why I selected the white um, slide to start with. But we know that, um, and it's actually going to output no fill, which is uh, transparent. We're also going to edit the master slide and get rid of all the extra stuff that we don't need. I'm just going to change the master template this, this is using to blank. And then we're going to go in and edit the master slide and actually just delete everything except that blank template. So that's all done. In the master, we're going to also change the master to have no fill. Uh, and that looks black as well. Now that's all we have to do there. We're done editing that. Now I want to add a second slide into the presentation that's got some color bars on it, just so that it's easier for me when I'm testing with this, especially because I'm testing I want to, um, the main thing I'm trying to build has a transparent background. And so when I'm trying to hook up my iPad, I want to know that the iPad is actually working. So I'm going to put a test slide in there as well. And then the main scene that I'm trying to build is going to be on uh, the second slide. So I'm going to add one more slide, also blank. Uh, the, so the first one, I'm just going to put in the color bar um, graphic, which I've already prepared. This is just at... Um, a 1080p graphic. And so I've got my color bars there. The second one is the main thing that we're going to build. So I'm going to add some text. And let's set the text color to white. And let's set this to 140 points. And we're going to say, um, the Kindly Ops Show. I'm going to move this down a little bit, right about there. And I also am going to put something else above that. Let's add another thing. Um, we'll also set this to white. We'll set that to 92 points. Um, let's change this one to italic. And this will say today's topic. So um, that's pretty straightforward. The next thing we're going to do is add some animations to these. So let's click here. I've selected today's topic, and I've selected animate. And now we're going to add an effect. There's a bunch of effects here. You don't want to overdo it on effects, but I'm just going to choose a really simple, um, a really simple effect, just fly in. So that will fly in from the left. We'll choose the next thing, add an effect. Um, and this is going to also fly in. And we'll have this one fly in from the bottom. Let's preview that. Great. So that's probably overdoing a little bit with, with the effects, but uh, just so we can see that it's actually working. Now, it also would be cool to add some out effects. So I've got a little piece of music that um, Victor from Office Hours created for me. And so uh, he made me a stinger that's about eight seconds. So I'm going to add a piece of music here. So on this slide, we're going to Media and Choose. And let's grab our stinger. 
So now we're inserting that, and we're going to have this um, also start. Um, and then the last thing is we want to, to have a build out. So we'll add an effect for out, and we're just going to dissolve out, and we'll change the um, second piece of text to also have a dissolve out. Okay, so now we've added all of the individual little animation pieces. Let's check the build order and get these all started the way we want. So um, when we have this slide, none of this is going to be showing. These are all animations. So the initial, when we first come to slide number two, it's going to be completely transparent. Once we click or tap, the animations will start and the music will start. Um, at the end of eight seconds, we want everything to be gone. So today's topic, we want this to start on click. That'll fly in. The Kindly app show, we want that to start after build number one. The theme song, we want that to start playing also on click. Um, actually, no, let's move that up. Let's move the theme song to the very beginning. Have that start on click. Today's topic will animate in after build one. The Kindly app show will animate after build two. Today's topic will dissolve out um, after build number three. And we're going to put in a six second delay so that the song can play. And that this dissolve out will also happen um, with build number four. So the last two builds are going to happen at exactly the same time after waiting six seconds. Uh, let's see how all this goes. That goes in, that goes in. And they dissolve out. So that sounds pretty good. Um, yeah, that looks great. So, um, now that that is working, you can just save this and load it on your iPad. So I've got a version that is saved and already loaded on my iPad. Now I go to the ATEM Mini, um, and I have my different camera inputs. I've got a camera input set for iPad, um, which is uh, my input number two. I've got the Keynote already loaded there. and. Um, we're going to use the downstream key. Because this uh, presentation is playing with transparency, both of our fill and our source are both going to be the iPad input. You can rename your inputs to anything you want. Yours might say input one. I've renamed this so it's easier for me to tell what, what's what. So I've got both my, I'm on my downstream key, not my upstream key. And both my fill source and my key source are both set to iPad. Then I turn it on. So I already had it turned on. You, you have to use this on-air key inside the ATEM software control. The, the buttons on the ATEM Mini itself won't control this. So now that that is on-air, um, I've got my slideshow loaded on the iPad, and you're not seeing anything over my face. But when I tap to go ahead and start the animations on this, you should see these play in. And that's our animation. So that is how you use Keynote to make a transparent, um, a transparent motion graphic that it can be used with the downstream key in the A10 Mini Pro. If you are going to not use the iPad, the Keynote on iPad to play this, and you want to play with a different media player, there is one extra trick you need to know for when you export it. So if I go to File, Export, I'm going to export this to a movie. Um, it's going to be self-playing. I don't want the test screen. I just want slide number two. And I want to export this in 1080p, but I'm not going to pick 1080p. I'm going to pick custom. The reason for that, um, 1080 by 720, or whoops, 1280 by, by 1080, 1920 by 1080. I always get those, get those wrong. 
We don't want H.264. In order to get the transparent background in the movie that's exported, we need to select Apple ProRes 444. Then um, this is pre-checked export with transparent backgrounds. So now that video file will also have the transparent background, and you can play that from something else like a HyperDeck or another media player that you have if you're not going to play the presentation from an iPad. So we just click Next, and that uh, is just going to export the file. And that is uh, how to use Keynote for downstream key compatible motion graphics.